Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome to another episode of Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. It's officially autumn here in New York City and you know what that means. Time to put all the fresh and citrus fragrances to the back of the cabinet and whip out all the amber, oud and incense and heavy hitters to the front of the cabinet. My favorite time of year. Now instead of bringing you a top fall and winter video, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to record a series of my favorite notes for fall and winter and fragrances that contain those notes. Starting today with Amber. Keep it right there. I'm going to start off today's video with a cheapy but goodie and three fragrances that I don't own a full bottle of but I feel deserve mention on my favorite ambers video. Jovan Secret Amber. Ginger, nutmeg, rose, vanilla. Really, really good stuff. And you can pick this up at Amazon.com for $12. This was gifted to me by my good friend Claudia Coroya. From the house of Profumum Roma, Amber Aurea. This is just a beautiful, big, luxurious, a little bit powdery amber, but this stuff is glorious. I adore it. From the house of Anique Rutal, Amber Fetiche. Resins, leather, patchouli. This is really, really powerful stuff. Two sprays and you're good to go for hours. From the house of Amouage, Opus 6, Sichuan pepper, leather, frankincense. This is a beautiful, beautiful amber fragrance. Probably one of my favorites from the house of Amouage, actually. There were actually four fragrances that I want to mention in this video that I don't have a full bottle of. The fourth is Ambra V by House of Matriarch. If you haven't checked out any of Christy Michelle's work, you really should. She's a natural perfumer and this Ambra V is definitely one of her best. From the House of Maitre Parfumeur et Gantier, Ambra Presiu. It was released in 1988. The notes include myrrh, lavender, vanilla. This is a really, really nice amber fragrance, warm and balsamic. As you can see by the bottle, which is almost empty, I've used quite a lot of this. From the house of Le Artisan Parfumeur, Ambra Extreme, released in 2001. Vanilla and spices, a warm and cozy, a little powdery, but enjoyable amber fragrance. For those looking for an amber that's not too in your face and too big, look no further than Etro Ambra. This was released in 1989. It's a little on the light side, but a nice fragrance, which I don't wear often enough, actually. Looking for a big, bold, in-your-face amber? Farmacia Annunziata Ambra Nera. This is a big, woody, earthy, lots of patchouli. Love this stuff. It lasts for hours. It's bold. It's oh, amazing. Don't spray it on a white shirt because you will get stained. Released in 2009 from the house of Christian Dior, Ambra Nui. I call this my suit and tie, get dressed up amber. Turkish rose, pink pepper, it's a delightful fragrance. You want to leave a good impression on a first date? Trust me, rock this and you definitely will. An amber fragrance that no amber lineup should be without, released in 2000 from the house of Serge Luton's, Amber Sultan. It's a resinous and herbal amber. Another amber that no amber lineup should be without is Ambra 114 from Histoires de Parfums, released in 2001. Rose, vanilla, just an excellent, excellent amber fragrance. From the house of Montal, amber and spices. This got a little oud and spices. It's a big, typical Montal fragrance, but it's really good. Also, from Montal, blue amber. This is a really good amber fragrance, but it's a little powdery. If you don't take powder, this might not be for you. Geisha Noir by Aroma M. Black amber, sandalwood, tanka. It's rich, dark, and just so wonderful. It's developed a loyal cult following by both men and women, and for good reason. I'm gonna wind down this video with two of my favorite amber fragrances. Actually, they're two of my favorite fragrances ever. First is by Tower Perfumes, L'Air du Desert Marocaine, a masterpiece released in 2005. I love this so much. Dry, resinous, spices, rose, amber. Man, this stuff just sings for my skin. I adore Laird du Desert Marocaine and I would never ever be without it in my collection. Last but not least, my favorite amber fragrance and definitely one of my all-time favorites ever. Tom Ford Private Blend Amber Absolute. 
I love Amber Absolute. Oh my God, it is so good. African incense, labdanum, patchouli, vanilla, projects, lasts for hours. It's a truly amazing fragrance. I cannot say enough good things about it. It was discontinued for a few years and was actually re-released last month. So if you haven't tried it, now's your chance to. I'll be doing a full review of Amber Absolute with Fragrance Bros, so stay tuned for that. Well, there you have it, folks, my favorite Amber fragrances. Up next in this series will be my favorite incense fragrances, so keep an eye out for that. Do you have a favorite Amber fragrance? Let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, tell your friends, and come back soon. Take care. Wait, hold everything. I was just about to start editing this video when I got an email from Lucky Scent, one of my favorite online retailers. Thanks to the generosity of Franco, we are offering one lucky subscriber the chance to win 10 amber samples of fragrances that were talked about in this video. Yes, including amber absolute. Awesome. All you have to do to enter is like the Lucky Scent Facebook page, subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, and leave one comment down below with which amber fragrance interested you the most. This is so awesome. Thank you so much, Franco. And I promise you one day I'm gonna visit Scent Bar in Los Angeles. All right, everybody, good luck, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It is officially fall here in New York City, and it's that time of year to put all the fresh and citrusy... Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Carlos. Come on, what are you doing? Get out of there, not now! Jovan Secret Amber. Rose, vanilla, ginger, nutmeg. It's really, really good. And you can pick this up at um eh. favorite ambers. Uh. Looking for a bigger fragrance, bold and in your face. Farmacia Anuncianta, Anuncianta. Released in 2009 from the house of Christian Dior, Ambre Nuit. forgot what I was saying. <laughs> this is definitely a classic in the uh, Amber. Amber! Amber! Can you say Amber? From the House of Serge of Tom's Receive. From the House of Montal. Blue Amber. This is masculine, but it's a little powdery. Powdery and masculine. How can that be? Well, I'm gonna wind down this video with two of my favorite amber fragrances. Actually, they're two of my favorite, favorite. And last but not least, my favorite amber fragrance and one of my all-time favorite fragrances. It's none other than, none other than. Last but not least, my favorite amber fragrance and one of my favorite fragrances of all time, hands down none other than Tom Ford Private Blend Amber, Amber, Amber. Tom Ford Private Blend Amber Absolute. This is it right here. I adore, adore this. Fracken, fracken, African. <laughs> fracken, 